I don't think the U.S. is just going to play MP. This I think that they're going to have multiple uh, domestic neo magnet supply chain plays, if you will. And I think one that could win big is USAR. They have a plant in, uh, I believe it's Stillwater, Oklahoma, and they are going to make, they're going to mine, they're going to make magnets. This market cap's only $1.5 billion. The difference is, is that MP is established. They have their facilities. They're ready to go. USAR is still getting up to that point. But with government funding, they could accelerate timeline to that. And all of a sudden, they're up and running at commercial ops, commercial scale. I think this one is the next one to win an investment. I think USAR can win an investment. And if they do win an investment, kind of do the same napkin math on them, 10,000 tons of magnets at $80 a kilogram, um, $800 million in revenue by 2035, put a 25% EBITDA margin on that, lower than MP at 35 because the revenues would be lower, economies of scale stuff. And that's $200 million in EBITDA and you put a 20X multiple on that and that, that's forty or $4 billion. We're at 1.5 right now. So the upside in USAR is, is more exciting to me. I think they're next on deck for a government investment in rare earths and the stock could be a big, big, big winner, the next MP, if you will. So I like MP, but I think USAR, it's increasingly becoming a, a, my preferred rare earths play over MP on a valuation basis.